Good morning everyone. We're now going to show you a short video on how to schedule posts and we're going to do it on a property that is planned for Remax Dolphin Realtors this week. So we're going to pop onto our Excel document. This document is used for us to plan ahead for our clients. We're very happy to send this through to you should you wish to implement the same system in your business. So as you can see there's three posts here planned for this week for Remax Dolphin Realtors. We're going to show you how to schedule this specific post because there's two different ways to schedule a post that is on a property. The first is by sharing the link and that is basically where people can click onto it and go straight to the website and the second is by doing a gallery of images. So firstly if you wanted to do the link you would basically copy the link to where the property is, you'd go to the business page, you'd paste the link in and an automatic preview will come up here. If you weren't for whatever reason happy with this preview that came up, you do have the option to change the image. You would just press the plus sign, pick a picture, for example that one, and you would go open, and it would pretty much replace this one here. The second way of doing this, we're just going to close and cancel that one. Is going back to the Excel document, and we're going to start off by copying this entire caption that we're going to use, go to the page, and you're going to upload all the images you want for the property. This can be two, it can be three, it can be four, it can be however many you would like to, like to have on it. There was just one more at the bottom here that I needed to get. And there your, your pictures are that have come up. You're then going to paste the caption in that we've just copied from that side. And have a look at all of the content. If there were any grammar or um, errors in that, we've got an automatic system called Grammarly, which is quite important to have on your computer if you would like to check your grammar before doing any posts. As you can see, there's an at sign here. That basically means that we need to tag that specific business. So if I go to the end of the at sign, it actually automatically comes up with see what it states. I click on that and it, got, and it highlights in blue to say that that's tagged. That basically means that Seaward Estates will get a notification that we've tagged them in a post. Um, same if you're doing, for example, I'll just show you at the bottom here, if you wanted to tag Remax Dolphin in your posts, you would just start typing Remax Dolphin Realtors and it comes up right there. You press enter and it tags it in blue. Very, very easy. There's no other tagging to be done here. Um, but I would like to, this link looks very long and very, um, just looks very long. So I'd say take that out. So we're going to cut that out of there. I'm going to go to a little website that's called bit.ly, B-I-T-L-Y dot com. You basically paste it in and this is, just shortens that link to a smaller, more manageable link. Um, that people can still click on, it will still go to that same website, it just looks a little bit neater. So I've pasted that in, into, into the post. Lastly, you want to have a check at your hashtags. Your hashtags can be pretty um, general, unless you wanted to, on this specific one, you could do hashtag Seaward Estates, um, or any other one that you maybe perhaps have for yourself, whether it was hashtag Kevin Daily, if you also wanted to add, you can do that one. So Kevin doesn't have a profile, otherwise we would also tag his business profile in this post as well so that we can also make recognition to him. So now the post is all ready. You have two options now. Either you can publish the post straight away, but as you can see from our Excel document that this is only planned for Friday, which is today, but I'm doing this on Thursday, which means I'm at the training with you when this needs to go out. So we're going to schedule it for tomorrow. I'm going to go to the little arrow at the bottom. You can see it says schedule, backdate or save as draft. So if you aren't sure and you need to check with someone before you post this, you can save it as a draft and come back to it. In this case, we're going to schedule it. So you click on schedule, you're basically going to choose the date, which is going to be tomorrow, Friday the 9th, and then the time. I'm going to show you how you find out what the best time is for your business. In this case, it is 9 a.m. Uh, 9 a.m. is a good time for after people have dropped the kids off at school, They've settled in at work, they've got their coffee, and they're quickly having a look on Facebook, um, as we all do. So that's why I'm doing 9 a.m., but I will show you how to check that in a bit. And then you'd basically just go schedule. Once it's scheduled, it comes up and says scheduled. You can go and have a look at it, just to check that you're happy with everything, and that there's no changes that you would like to make. 
goes to your publishing tools. And you can basically open it up and see what it will look like. Um, sorry. So it opens up onto a new page. And you can see how it will look. It comes into a nice little gallery form that people can then click on and go through each of the pictures individually if they would like to, which I feel is a better, a better way to look at a home, but it is completely up to you and your preference. Now, how to check what time to publish? You need to go to your insights on your business page. Go down to the bottom and it's called posts. And this basically gives you an outline Sunday through to Saturday when the best day is to post. Remax Dolphin Realtors is pretty even, as you can see. But you can see on the times here that 9 o'clock is a really good time to post. That's a little peak there. And then late evening when people, instead of reading books, um, people are now on Facebook in the evening. So that also tends to be a really good time to, to post. And that's as easy as it is to schedule and post your content. Thank you so much.